Hello, Ingram Spark community. Welcome to another help video. My name is Anne Marie, and today I'm going to walk you through placing an order through your account. This is called a publisher direct order or short run order. We're starting on the home page of an account. From here, we'll click into the menu on the left and select the orders tab. It's the truck icon. You can also click the three lines, which I think look like a hamburger, to expand the menu and see the word orders. You can click on the orders link or on the one just below it that says place order. This takes you to a screen that will list all titles that are available for ordering. A title must have been approved in your account and made available before it can be ordered for printing. To select books to add to your order, Click on the checkbox next to the title or titles you want to add to your order. If you have multiple pages of books, you can use the search fields at the top to locate a specific book you want to order. My advice is to only use one search field at a time. You don't need to enter information into all of them to find your title. Once you have selected the titles you want to add, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Add Items to Order. This will take you to the order page where a pop-up may appear with an update about print order turnaround times. You can close out of this to get to the order page. The order number will appear in the top left corner. Here, you'll find your default shipping and return address at the top. If either of those needs updating for this order, you can click the Change button. This will open a pop-up where you can update your address. You can either enter a new address or select from your address book. The fields with a red asterisk are required and must be filled in. The Save button must be blue in order to click it and save. If you see the save button is gray, I recommend closing out the pop-up and trying again. If you add a new address and plan to ship to that address again, I recommend clicking the box to save it to your address book. You also have the option to set it as the default address. After confirming your shipping and return address, the next step is to select your print location. We have facilities in the United States, United Kingdom, and Australia. You see that with the United Kingdom, you can select to purchase in pounds sterling or in euros. If you're shipping books to France, it's probably better to select the UK as your printing facility over the US. I always recommend looking at both and choosing the option that's best for your business. Once you select your print location, be sure to click Update Order so the page refreshes with correct pricing and shipping options for the location you selected. Below the print location is a field to enter a promo code. Ingram Spark sometimes offers a promotion for a discount off the print cost for publisher direct orders. Make sure you're signed up for our newsletter so you know when we offer discount promotions. Next, you'll select your print service level. You'll see the estimated turnaround time for your order displayed next to the service levels available. This is the estimate for how long it will take to print your order and does not include delivery time. We typically offer rush, express, and economy printing options but we remove Rush and Express around the holidays and when our business isn't certain we can honor those shorter timelines due to increased volume or other factors. Once you select the print service level, you'll need to choose how you want your order shipped. You can click on the link for available shipping methods to view the details of each delivery. It may be tempting to use basic shipping because it is less expensive, but orders shipped with this delivery option are not trackable or insured, and you assume all risks of damages or loss. 
you will also have to click the box below the order confirming you accept and understand the shipment is not trackable or insured. To the right, you'll see a yellow rectangle that represents on sale date and a pink rectangle for any personalized content. If any of the books you order have a future on sale date, they will be highlighted in yellow. If you add a personalized page to a book, it will be highlighted in pink. Now you will enter the number of copies you want printed for each book. The carton quantity is displayed, but we can't guarantee the order will be packed and shipped with these quantities in each carton. Be sure to order the number of copies you want. If the carton quantity is 16 books and you want two cartons, you will order 32 books. If you place an order that is before your on sale date, you have the option to override it. Otherwise, your order will be placed on hold until then. If the order is shipping to a country where you must declare the value of the order, the field for the declared unit value will appear. You can find more detail here. You want to enter the value of one unit in this field. If you're not sure what to enter, many publishers enter the print cost for one unit listed under the Unit Selling Price column. Take a moment and review your order. You can click Add More Books to go back to your list of titles and select the books you would like to have printed. You can click the Clear button to delete the items in your order. If everything looks OK, click Submit and we will send your order to the print floor. Click on the link for Submitted Orders to view your list of publisher direct orders. If the order was not submitted, click on the Pending Orders link. If the order can be canceled, you can click on the trash can to the right to delete the order. Or you can click on the order number to complete the order. You have 30 minutes to cancel your order from the time you clicked Submit. These orders will not be listed on the print sales report since they are not distribution orders and you do not earn compensation for these. I hope you find this video helpful. Let us know if there are other videos you would like to see.